All right, so here we are, Monday. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning. Things are already starting to melt off. Already taking several walks around here this morning. Definitely is already starting to melt. We've already lost about five inches of the depth of the snow. Man, it's amazing how fast it melts. So it snowed yesterday till about four o'clock. Come on, come on, get your bone, bring it over here, come on. <laughs> Look at this thing. It's like a weapon. Ice, <laughs> ice dagger. Here you go. Come here, would you like me to give that to you to take away? There you go, you can have it. Is that yours? Are you gonna chew on it? <laughs> You're gonna eat it, aren't you? Are you just gonna eat, are you gonna eat that icicle? Are you gonna eat that icicle? You wanna go back in, bud? You wanna, you wanna go back in? You had enough of being out here, huh? steam coming off of the engine. Yep. Look at the trenches in this hill. So it's Wednesday, it's five o'clock in the afternoon. This is the day of the big storm. It's been snowing all day and none of it has really stuck yet. This is the actual beginning at five o'clock. This is when it's just starting to really snow heavy and it's supposed to snow heavy like this until around, I don't know, six or maybe eight o'clock in the morning on Thursday. So we'll see, but this is it. This is that big giant snowstorm. They've actually downgraded it several times. So we're supposed to get somewhere between eight and 12 inches is what they're saying. <laughs> Yeah, it started snowing, I don't know, about an hour and a half ago. So right now it's about 5.30. It's amazing how bright it still is. I think it stays light already till like 6.30. But yeah, it's starting to accumulate. snowed for a while. I didn't get that much accumulation. I'm looking at about, eh, about three and a half inches. I can tell by the texture of the snow it's wet and it's melting. It's melting as it's coming down. Anyway, this is where we're at. It's still supposed to keep snowing tonight. Brought Scout out here to go to the bathroom. Yeah, you good girl. Yeah, you good girl. You good girl. Should we go look around? Should we go look around a little bit? <laughs> look at that. The way it's stuck to the car. Yeah. Yeah, actually out here. Yeah, we there's about 
It's about four inches, five inches on the ground. Yeah, I'd say we got about five inches. All right, we'll have to come back out here. Come back here here in the morning and see what it looks like. Right, Welcome guys. back, everybody. Here it is, snowstorm number 18. So this is the big blizzard that the media made such a big hype about. And uh, it's, it, it is a significant storm. So it looks to me like we got, we got about another seven inches of fresh snow. So it started to snow on Tuesday night and it was warm. So almost none of it stuck. Got up Wednesday morning, there was about an inch of snow and then it snowed all day, fairly heavy, but it just didn't stick. None of it stuck. And it didn't start to stick last night until about 6.30. So more than about half of the snowfall we got came down and did not stick to the ground. So I would say if, we, if it had of all stuck to the ground, we probably would have had well over a foot, like what they were possibly predicting. So, And for those of you that are out there who are worried about us, especially f uh, family and friends and stuff, we're absolutely fine. We've actually endured several storms this winter that were much more severe than this one. So, and I can already tell the snow is, it's really, really wet um, and it's going to warm up into the mid forties the next couple of days. So this is going to melt off really quick. I mean, this is a true uh, spring storm. So I have just a few quick totals to tell you about. So the winter snow season that I'm calling it is from November 1st until now, which is March 1st. So during that four month period, so these are very conservative estimates from the figures that I have wrote down from each, from each one of the 17 storms. We have had 84 inches of snow and we also had three rainstorms that totaled just under two and a half inches of rain. So that's a lot of precipitation. That's almost half of our yearly precipitation in the four month winter period, which is really significant. Apparently this is the fifth snowiest winter on record here in Arizona. So in those totals, the reason why they are so conservative is because every single snowstorm, just like yesterday, has a decent, if not a long period, maybe an entire day where it snows and none of it sticks to the ground because it melts because the temperature is a little higher. Okay. It's not rain, but it is still snow. So none of that is included in the total. So I would say over those 17 storms, there was easily another you know, eight to 10 inches of snow included in that, that all melted. So I love the snow. I'm happy it's this way. I mean, we're dealing with a season here where we're getting probably three times our normal average snowfall. And that's the average snowfall when we're not in a drought year. So, but this is record snowfall and I have tried to do what I can to do, do a good job of documenting it. So for, from here out for the rest of the year, I'm going to document all the storms really well. I'm going to document all the rest of the snowstorms and then all the rainstorms we get all the way through until the next snowstorms in basically November. I'm going to document everything, the dates that they happen, the exact totals that we get. Uh, just I'd like to really keep track because I think this is going to be a record year out here on our land as far as precipitation. And I'm also going to do my best for you all to really do a good job of documenting everything as it starts to grow out here. Last week on one of the few dry days we had where the sun was out and it, the temperature was close to 50, I saw the first horsefly and I also saw the first of the small bees that are out here. They're not like honeybees, but they're a, it's a bee that almost looks like a, a cross between a bee and a fly. But I, I've seen there are flying bugs that are starting to come out already, which is amazing to me considering that it was, you know, below zero just a week ago. She's over here hunting for the bunny rabbit. She knows that the bunnies are, there's a bunny, there's only one rabbit left. It's coming in, in and out from under there and she wants it. You good girl, yeah. Okay, so I thought I'd show you all something interesting. Talking about stuff coming back to life. I saw this the other day. Look at this. This is one of the native plants already coming back to life underneath the RV. Look at that. Even in the frozen ground, it's already coming back up. Isn't that crazy? All, everybody out there, don't worry about us. We've been toasty warm in the RV. We have more than enough heat. We've been sitting in 70 to 72 degree temperatures this whole winter. <laughs> We're not suffering at all. 
saw that they closed I-40 last night. I think they closed it from, <clears throat> I think they closed it from Kingman to Winslow, which is over a hundred something miles. Um, there were people trapped on Interstate 40 that were in the, you know, couldn't get out of where they were at and they couldn't get tow trucks and stuff to them. There was a pile up of semis uh, down in Williams, just a half hour from here to the south on I-40. It's a big storm. A lot of people are caught really off guard. A lot of people in California are really caught off guard. Uh, and then they've just had just crazy, crazy amounts of snow. My niece sent us a video from Tahoe and in their driveway, they were digging out their two cars, you know, their two trucks. And uh, I kid you not in the pictures, there was five feet, almost six feet of snow sitting on top of them. I mean, imagine trying to dig that out, clear your car off. I mean, you're talking hours and hours and hours of backbreaking work. Respect. That's hardcore. It's living in the mountains though. She, they get snow like that, not, not every year, but she sent pictures before. It's not the first time I've seen, you know, a wall of snow in front of their place. I gotta admit, when the snow does finally go away, I'm gonna be kind of sad. I still think we, it's March. We're still in for at least a few more snowstorms. Every March we get at least three or four storms. So, and they're always fairly significant. If you look back through our videos, for the last two years, strangely enough, on March 23rd, we both times we had a big storm, and that storm ended up being the biggest one of the season. I'll tell you what, I'll throw a prediction out on it, just throwing a dart at the wall, okay? March 23rd, we're going to get snowstorm number 21. Let's see if I'm right. Look at this tree. Look how much this thing's loaded down. Wow. Okay. There's a, uh, a snow drift here from the other day. Let me get to all the way to the bottom. Okay, so there's the bottom. So, it's about 16 inches deep. Big barberry in front of my place. Look how much snow is on that thing. Look at you. <laughs> Back out here, it's two o'clock in the afternoon. Wow, this is really melting quick. This whole area is going to be just solid mud here. Wow. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's like little diamonds man. It's bright. You can see my sunglasses on.